What's going on everyone? Darkwater here back in Airport CEO. Back in Indianapolis International. Last time we added, well, we moved the bathrooms, added a shop, uh, the Quick Stop franchise there. We've got the Loft French in here. We've got seating. We've got windows. We've got all kinds of things going on. And we've got a tile in here that I don't want. Let's come in here real quick. Grab the carpet. And There we go. All right. So looking at the map of the uh, Terminal A, there's a restaurant here. There's a shop and restaurant here. This section and these two are absolutely all just seating. So we're going to come through. We're going to grab this section of seating and it's going to sit here Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are going to have to move. You're going to have to go. You're going to have to go. Um, I'm going to take you out as well. I don't know why you're that close to the walk later, but okay. So that takes care of that. Let's come in this section. We are going to make ourselves a large-ish restaurant. Shops. That's a food room. We've got 279. What can we do with that kind of space? We can do quite a bit. I'm leaning towards the sushi bar, quite frankly. Um, need three cooking stations, a stove, which is odd because there's a stove attached to the cooking stations, but okay. I uh, need four modular sofas and a counter. So let's go through and we will knock that out real quick. I need three cooking stations and a stove. One, two, three, and four. Let's do that and that. You know, we're going to actually take one of those out. We're going to go with just three. We're going to make this a little bit offset because I kind of want to get the sink in here. That's not the sink. That's the sink. I want to do a food counter across. cooking prep stations. I want to kind of do some bar stools. Kind of like a uh, sushi bar, if you will. And we need some modular sofas. So 
slide over here to the corner, put that in, one there. for a weird space. I do not also have to register anywhere. Think about it. We'll do a register on that side, register on that side. There we go. Give me two of these. One there. I'm centering it off. Okay. Uh, just copy this. Put it here for a second. Take that out. Pop you in there. You need to go through and just remark that as a secure section. Got the walls in there. We can actually speed this up. I'm gonna do a hedge down the back here, down the back here, just to make it a little bit nicer. And I think we'll just do some small tables, chairs in the front. Round tables works for eating, frankly. Is this off somehow? Or am I off? I think I'm off. Yes, I am. Those two. We've got ourselves a nice little sushi restaurant. Let's go with some dark wood. There we go. Um, all the seating's in down here. They took out the seating from down over here. Let's go ahead and copy this one over. And that's here. You are a restaurant or shop? You are actually both. Don't know if we've got the size to fill both, quite frankly. There and oh, I've already got seats there. Okay. There's a shop that goes next to the bathroom. I am not going to cram another shop in there. We're going to take out. I know, I know. I can't. How close am I getting to that desk? There. So I've got the sushi place going in. 
seating going in. Let's see what we can do here for another small restaurant and shop. I mean, I suppose I could move this over a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, two, four. This is close to eat. Size wise, do I have enough? 135. No, I'm just shy. Yeah, I'm just shy for the power. If I take out this wall. the room. Let's try this one last time. It goes from here to the wall, like so. Now the question is, is that should be a good enough size for power, I do believe. Yes, we can get power in there. Uh, Restaurant-wise, on the other hand, I have something small that I can cram in there. Did you not even go in? There we go. I can get bell beer in there. Yes. All right. So we got a brewery going in. Well. Not a brewery, but a uh, small pub, I guess. And we've got power that's going to go in over here. So let's go ahead and get those in and going. This is not going to sit in. This is going to be a direction. I'm not gonna sit even, I don't know. I'm gonna do that. Nope, 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 I know. I'm gonna do a trash can next. In fact, I'm gonna do a couple trash cans out there. This should be good enough for. Power. Go ahead and sign them to that one. Bell beer, what do you need? Why did it change the order? But okay. Um, four fridges and a counter. Okay. Do that really quickly here. Fridge. One. Do I want to do them only on one side, or do I want to do opposite sides? Three, four, two. Take that out. I want to do the registers right up. Two, three, four. Big 
think those are installed in the correct direction. Now it's just tables, chairs. Let's kind of grab some round tables. You know, we'll, we'll get some comfortable seating. A little bit of seating, not a whole lot. That's fine. Should be good to go. Yes, you are. Go ahead and open up Bell Beer. Dark wood in here. Different dark wood in here, but I want. Be offset. No, that looks horrible, quite frankly. That will do. But we got power in there, so you can get your your USB charger going. Whenever you get your cable. Power surge. Great. I think I kind of want to do just black with seeking. That is really, really dark. Sushi place. Currently, oh, not even under contract. There we go. We've got Bell Beer. Staff is en route. Let's go ahead and. Oh, you're a pushback. Okay, we're good. Everything else seems to be going smoothly here. Olympus Airlines still only at 1%. Oh! If we are a five-star airport now, does that mean we've got five-star contracts? Let's take a quick gander. Airlines. Yes, we've got Air Strata we can bring in, we've got Maple we can bring in, and we've got Swiftly we can bring in. Uh, what else can we do? Contractors. I don't even know who I currently have. Blue Build, which is four stars. Lion Go, which is four stars. Who do I currently have? Max Avi Fuel and catering is Sky Garden. Five star caterers? No, there's not a five star caterers. Interesting. Okay. But we got some more airlines coming in, which will be nice to see. Stairs. What are we going to do with these stairs? Anyway. Whoa, did not mean to take out that wall. Hold on. Hold on. Can you not take out the wall? That'd be great. You gotta take out the wall, aren't you? Well, while they take out my mistake here, I'm go ahead and come in with the carpet. All the way down over here, up. Take this all the way down here.
Listen, I just ask you to remove the stairs. Thank you. Although, quite frankly, that might not matter because windows are a thing. Might actually be shops here, so let's add the wall back in real quick. There we go. Can we get a wall here? Thank you. And who? Oh, okay. Staff is still en route. We do have some folks using the sushi place over here. Now it's time to kind of figure out what we're doing in this space. There's basically shops on the corner. And down by the International there is a shop and a restaurant. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get that all in. I might redesign this area a little bit with the moving the airline lounge and maybe making it half the size because there's also bathrooms over here as well that need to be uh, taken into account. So one last thing before we end of this episode come through here real quick. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I just want to take these three windows. Go ahead and get them in place. There we go. So we've pretty much, with the exception of a little bit of area down here, have Terminal A done. Again, the only thing I need to add in is, this might just be seating. I might do a small shop on this corner. Do seating down here and potentially a small shop. I uh, have to rework this section a little bit. And then over here, there's shop and restaurant down over here. So that'll be something we tackle in the next episode. But thank you guys for watching. I definitely appreciate you guys for being here. Look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO soon. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves an amazing day. Uh...